Oh no, now he's sad. While being stuck inside, I have purchased these memory foam pads. They work decently well. Um, gets a little hot after a while, but nothing unbearable. And I got these, this cover for the top part of the headphones because as you can see, mine is been peeling like crazy. I pretty much peeled the rest of it off, almost. It looks ugly and gross, but I mean, you can still use it, so there's no point in tossing away a good set of cans. So I'm gonna zip this back up. One thing to note about this uh, this top part that covers up the headphones, it's it's good, but it's it's pretty tight. Yeah, uh, it kind of squishes down on the memory on the original memory foam that I have here. Should be here. Squish it down on the memory foam a bit. Not too bad, but just something to note. Fix this real quick. I haven't been using these Audio Technicas for a while, but since we're stuck inside, might as well start using the things I do have. Scooch! Scooch, scooch. You can see all the peels coming off. And these memory foam pads, pretty soft. It's very squishy. Let me put these on. While looking at more headphones, or potentially a new version of the Audio Technicas, I stumbled across, I forgot where, maybe it was a forum or a post. Wow, that's difficult. I better speed this up. We're after this. There was also a barcode that I scratched off and looked up on the website to make sure it was authentic. But uh, this piece makes it wireless. What? When you first turn on though, I don't like to leave the headphones on my ears just yet because the sound is actually really loud. Or not unbearable, but it's pretty loud. This is what it will sound like. Unfortunately, oh, I believe it paired with my phone right now. You can pair this uh, FIO BTA-10 with up to two devices. Hold down the middle button and power back on. If it's red and blue, it's searching right now, so you can connect it to any Bluetooth device that you have. If you wanted to force connect, you can turn this off. Maybe to your second device, for example, if it couldn't somehow connect. You hold down the power button, the second button, and you hold it down for about five seconds or so, and it'd still also show the blue and the red. You can disconnect your last device paired by holding the volume up and down button until the device turns off. It works really well. It has the, let's see, the Qualcomm Aptex whatever they call it. So when you watch Netflix videos or anything like that, you know, there's not really... I couldn't hear a delay. There might have been a slight delay, but... You know, looking at everyone's lips, you can really pay attention if it's delayed or not, but uh, everything sounded great, so... There, there it is. <laughs>